Okay. Good morning. I'm the principal of an elementary here in Meridian, Idaho, and I wanted to share, have some teachers share with you uh, some DMT strategies, which is developing mathematical thinking. It's giving students uh, more of a conceptual understanding with math rather than strictly procedural. And we are always looking for ways to give students more strategies on how to solve math problems. So I'm going to turn it over to my second grade team and they're going to lead you through some strategies that students might use to solve math. Hi, I am a second grade teacher and I'd like to show you one of our direct modeling strategies that children often come into our classes just out of first grade doing. They make 25 little marks and then they'll cross off 16 of them. And count up the rest and they will have nine. This is direct modeling. We're trying to move them on to more efficient strategies. So the next strategy will be a little more efficient than this one. As we get into bigger numbers, it becomes even more difficult. I'm a second grade teacher and I'm going to demonstrate how children can use manipulatives to solve the problem 25 take away 16. So we have two towers of 10 and we have five single, we have five ones. So I would say to the children, do we have enough single ones to take away 16? They would say, no, we don't have enough ones because six ones is more than five. So what do we do? And they would have already had the lesson before that would prep them for this. We have to take away, we have to separate these, decompose these, and I try to use those words uh, with the kids. Um, take these apart. And now I have ten singles and five one. Uh, ten singles plus five is 15. So now do I have enough ones? Yes, I do, I have enough ones. And they usually just, will count them out, one, two, three, four, we already know these are 10, we try to move to that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, hmm, we still don't have enough. We have to separate these. So we take these apart, Now we know we have 10 and 10 and our 5 over here. So do we have enough? And yes, we do. We have 16. So we're going to take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And how many do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I am also a second grade teacher in Meridian, Idaho, and one of the math strategies we've been working on in my class is called the open number line, and uh, we've also been practicing counting forward and backward by tens, so this is one strategy that we use that helps us um, with our counting forward and backward by tens. We start with the number 25. You can if you want to um, count backwards to find the difference between 25 and 16. And I would ask my students, um, how many are we going to take away? We're going to take away 16. What can we take away that might be a friendly number? Let's start with a friendly number. And students know that tens are easy to count by, so 10 would be an easy number to subtract. So 25, counting backwards by 10, or subtracting 10, would bring us to 15. And then I would ask them, how many do we have left that we still have to take away? And they look up here and say six. We still have six that we need to take away. And taking away from 15, they might say, mm, I'm going to take away five first. 
15 take away 5 gives us 10. And I've only taken away my 5, so I can take away one more. 10 minus 1 is 9. And that's one of the strategies we use called the open number line. I'm a second grade teacher and I'm going to show a strategy that involves decomposing the numbers or breaking them apart into tens and ones. So on 25 take away 16, I would first have my students decompose 16 into 10, which is this number right here, and they know that that actually is 10 and not a 1, and 6, because 16 equals 10 plus 6. Then we would take our 25, subtract 10, equals 15. And I have them cross it out. I say, okay, we've subtracted that 10. We're good. Now we bring our 15 down here, and we subtract the 6. And they use their number lines. Some of them use fingers. Whatever system they use to count backwards, 15 take away 6 would be nine. Or if they wanted to do it in smaller chunks, they could take away 3 and 3, or whatever. Um, taking away 5 first would get them to the friendly number of 10. So whatever system they use to subtract. I am also part of the second grade team, and I am going to demonstrate a model called arrow language. We're going to start with 25, and then just like in the open number line, we're going to take 10 away first. 25 minus 10 is 15. And I have six left to subtract, so I am going to take five away because that's easy to subtract. 15 minus five is 10. And I have one more from my six. 10 minus one is nine. And that is error language. To check to make sure we have subtracted all of our 16 from 25, we add up the 10, the five, and the one 10 plus 5 equals 15, 15 plus 1 equals 16. I have subtracted 16 for 25 minus 16. I also want to thank our second grade team here for the wonderful job they do each day with doing strategies, these new math strategies with kids. It's actually, um, we're seeing good results from that. It's actually being done school wide. And so we want to continue to see the increase uh, with math scores and helping parents see what's really going on here at Spalding Elementary. So thank you again.